Forgiveness, speaking well to others, speaking in ways that impart grace to the hearers. Those are messages you expect to hear in church, right? Well, that's just a little. The amazing things you'll find at the first heavy metal church of Christ down in Greenville. If you find yourself questioning the name, don't walk into this church finding heavy metal music, but a different kind of heavy metal. Jennifer explains. It sits on a street corner in Greenville, Ohio. It's not flashy, but certainly it's not hidden. It's the first heavy metal church of Christ. Yes, you will find bikes here. You'll find chains, tattoos, and some leather. But that's not the focus. You'll find hearts, hearts that are mending, people finding freedom. What you'll find at the first heavy metal church of Christ in Greenville is the presence of God. Even though you don't know what's behind the door, you gotta open that door by faith, don't you? And what happens when you do? He's right there to meet you every time. He's always there to meet you, even when you can't see him, you can't smell him, you can't taste him, you can't touch him, but he's always there as soon as you crack that door open, isn't he? Don't let the title heavy metal fool you, because according to pastors Mark Bird and Michael Fisher, the meaning of this heavy metal is needed by everyone. The, the heavy metal comes from putting on the full armor of God, and because we started out as a biker church, it kind of had the stigma of the metal, the bikes, the, the, the chrome, um, that kind of an image behind it when it first started out, but we've really developed into a come-as-you-are um, church where anyone is welcome. You can have my dreams, take my will, give me yours. The gospel is preached and lives are challenged. Bird and fish aren't afraid to step out of the ordinary. This particular Sunday featured worship with Hannah Beck and testimonies from a St. Mary's police officer and a former Ku Klux Klan leader. Who comes here? We have... Um, anybody, people off the streets to um, judges and politicians will come through these doors. I, I see God working in the lives of people here because where they didn't have hope before, now they have hope because our hope really truly is founded in Christ. And that's the message. It's heard every Sunday at noon at a church that one by one is showing what Jesus meant when he said to love others.